Hi friends, in the video, UGTRB Unit 8 Morphology and Semantics Word Morphemes Word Meaning Association Semantics MCQs First question A semantic study of morphemes or how morphemes join to form words is known as DAS Answer Morphology Second question DAS may consist of a single morpheme or a number of morphemes? Answer Word. Third question Das is a single unit of language which means something and it can be spoken or written. Answer Word. Fourth question The terms morpheme and morph are thus comparable to the term form and substance given by Das. Answer F. D. Sasre. Fifth question, allomorphs. A particular morpheme may be represented not by same morph but by different morphs in different environments. Such different representations of a morpheme. Sixth question, the term morph means does. Answer, shape. Seventh question, morphemes can stand on the air worn as independent words, such morphemes are called DAS. Answer Free morphemes. Eighth question Example for free morphemes Unhappy, disregarded, boyhood. Morphemes such as happy, regard, boy can stand on the air worn as independent words. Ninth question such morphemes are cannot stand on the air worn as independent words. They are always attached to a free morpheme or free form. Such morphemes are called DAS. Answer Bond morphemes. Tenth question Example for bond morphemes. Answer And this Ed Hood. Eleventh question. Tree diagram showing the morphological analysis of the word unknowingly. Unknowingly, affix and base knowingly. Knowingly, base affix, base knowing, affix ly. Stem, root, no, affix ing. Twelfth question, the stem that cannot be further split up is also called DAS. Answer Root. Thirteenth question Affix may be divided into DAS. Answer Prefix and Suffix. Fourteenth question On another dimension, affix are classified as DAS and DAS. Answer Inflectional affix and derivational affix. Fifteenth question In what is inflectional affix? Answer Inflectional affix is a change made in form of a word to express its relation to other words in the sentence. Sixteenth question. What is derivation affix? Answer. The process by which new word and the new word belong to same class. Seventeenth question. Semantics is the study of DAS. Answer. Meaning in language. Eighteenth question. Das is the meaning of individual lexical items. Answer. Lexical or word meaning. Nineteenth question. What are the two types of lexical or word meaning? First, open class lexical items. Noun, verbs, adjectives, adverb. Second, closed class lexical items. Preposition, conjunction, and determiners. Twentieth question. Das is the relation that holds between a more general and more specific lexical item. Answer. Hyphonomy. Twenty-one question. The logical meaning which indicates the essential qualities of a concept which distinguish it from other concepts. Answer. Denotative meaning. 22. 
the additional or associated meaning which is attached to denotative conceptual meaning it consists of associations made with concept whenever that concept is referred to das answer connotative meaning next 23rd what is social meaning it is meaning that a word possessed by virtue of its use in particular social situation and circumstance 24th question what is thematic meaning answer it lies in the manner in which a message is organized for emphasis next 25th question das is concerned with word and sentence meaning pragmatics entails utterance meaning answer semantics thank you for watching friends in the video ungalku porichinchina please subscribe pannunga like pannunga share pannunga ungalku edho doubt irundhuchuna ning comment la kelunga na kandipa reply pandren ungalku vera edhukku ni mcqs menu nalum solunga na upload pandren UGTRB Unit 8 syllabus full ah vandu cover pannita ellathukku MCQs potaachu ungalku venumna channel la iruka playlist check panni paarenga friends bye